All right, this video will show us how to set up a docking station to remove calculators from press to test mode. This is great for teachers uh, when you have many calculators to deal with at the end of a test. And this is for the CX or the CX CAS. So the first thing, and this is probably the clunkiest thing to do, and this is a one-time setup, is that you have to set up a folder called press to test. And you probably want to put this in your TI inspired destination spots. And then you have to save a file in there that's called press to test. I'm sorry, save a file in the press to test uh, folder and call it exit test mode. This is all a one-time setup. This text is very specific. You have to do it exactly like that. Capital P and capital T and the dashes in between. Exit test mode, I think, has to be very specific as well. So those two are huge in how you set those up. So wherever you have your TI Inspire items, the first thing you need to do is set up a folder called press to test. In some places you can download this or whatever, but I found it just easier to create a new folder, press the test, spell it exactly like that, no spaces. Okay, then what you can do is you go to your Inspire software, and then you can go and take a new document. So if I go here, I want a new document. And it doesn't matter what you add here or anything like that. But then you want to go and save as. And it can just be an empty folder. You want it to save as. And you want to call it exit test mode. You do not have to put this extension on. It will automatically go on. So I would type in here, and since I already have it, uh, exit test mode. Make sure you capitalize each one of those and do it just like that. And then it will save it as a TNS file. And if I go save here, it says it already exists. So I don't want to create a new one, but that's all you have to do. Okay? So <clears throat> that's what I have. And then I'm just going to cancel that. But you would have to save it. And so now you have a file in that folder. That's the key to running all this. Now the other key is that you have to have your docking station set up and so here's your dock I think it's pretty self-explanatory how to do this but you put your USB connection in here and then go put that towards your computer and then you need the power source and so I have a little green light on there too that tells me I have power so that's how you set up your docking station so those two ingredients are key into doing this set up the folder with the file inside and then also set up your docking station so now what you, you all you have to do is using your CAS software off of your computer, go to tools and transfer tools. And I'll go through these step by step. And then you're going to add uh, to your transfer list. And then this one is really important. You can read through these different steps. But you have to s select and change the destination folder. That's the one that always catches me. And press change. Place the calculators in there and with about three seconds they're booted. And so these steps right here are what you'll have to do every time that you go ahead and set this up. The first two steps are done. You don't have to do those ever again. So I go up here to Tools, and under Tools, I use the Transfer tool. And then I want to add to the transfer list. And so when I do that, you have to make sure you look into the right folder and make sure that you find this under the TI Inspire. Press to Test. And then also look inside. There should be only one item in there. Exit Test Mode. So you click on that and select. Now that's in the hopper there waiting to be used, but you got to tell it to be used. So you click on here. Now what happens with this is that the destination folder down here, this is the huge one, you have to put it on press to test and you have to press change. Now otherwise it won't work. And then you can go ahead and start transfer. And when you start transfer, I don't have any handhelds in there, and so I'll just wait for you to set one in there and reboot. So now that I have everything set up, here I have a calculator that's in test mode, and so I'm going to put it in here and make sure you press it down firmly. And there it's going to go, and it's communicating back and forth, and hopefully within three seconds this thing is going to reboot. And it should start going red and different colors. 
So I got the little funky colors going on there and it's resetting right now. It should just take a few seconds. I didn't have my USB in, so I had to put that in. Okay, and so that should exit it. And then when we take it out right away, and it's already resetting itself. So that's all you need to do with the docking station to reset it. Now the next student can just come by and put it in. Three seconds, boom, done. And notice that there is no more light. And so now they're out. So that's how you set up the docking station for press to test. I hope this video helped you. Thank you.